So we are talking about the movie, The Autopsy of Jane Doe. This run directed by Andre Overdahl. I think that's how he's pronounced his name. And he directed Troll Hunter. And this one stars Emil Hirsch and Brian Cox. Now we're going to be a little sparse on the plot synopsis here. Because I think the best way to enjoy this movie is to know little about it as possible. But basically it there is this kind of a, a body that is discovered of this young woman in a shallow grave. And it is brought to a mortuary uh, which is kind of housed... Um, is basically run by a father and son team, Cox and Hirsch, and there they are set to perform the autopsy. And on this faithful night, weird things starts to happen. It goes a bit more more supernatural than I thought it would, but that's all I'm really going to tell you about the plot of this film. So we'll go with the negatives first. I only have a couple of little negatives, but um, first one for me, this movie does have a couple of little cheap jump scares here and there. Um, it's a pretty scary movie, and I'll come on to that in my positives, but there are a couple of occasions where it does rely on somewhat cheap jump scares. And the second thing, I feel uh, the ending, for me at least, was that uh, I had mixed feelings about it. I didn't really like um, how it was, sort of, it was wrapped up um, seemingly quite quickly. Once we kind of get into that last kind of 15 minutes or so of the movie, I felt it was kind of... Uh, Things were kind of falling into place and information was discovered and kind of assumptions were made a little bit too quickly in the very climax of it as well. Wasn't quite wasn't quite sold in it. It's not bad, to be honest, but uh, for me it wasn't just a hundred percent on the ending. Didn't quite didn't, didn't quite stick the landing, although it wasn't too bad. But I've gotta say, overall I really enjoyed this film. Moving on to the positives. For me, 90% of this film is absolutely fantastic and the the fantastic performances first of all um, I mean, you've got two decent actors here for a start um, apparently Martin Sheen was originally going to play the father part of it rather than uh, rather than Brian Cox uh, but I thought Brian Cox was absolutely fantastic and you do get a great sort of father-son relationship and uh, you know a kind of and a realistic one but also just the kind of just the performances throughout the movie all very good but the the the, the key to this film i i would feel is it's is it's kind of sense of foreboding and kind of this uh real tense feeling that you get while you're watching it where it plays very subtly with your fears and kind of has a great kind of sense that's building up and building up and it's more of a a, a kind of uh tell don't show so to speak um, but it works really well. There are you do see stuff. Don't get me wrong, but there, it has a great sense where you know the use of sound effects, for example, absolutely fantastic. And when you do see stuff, you can kind of you, you'll see images that come out of the darkness in a very kind of like ethereal and creepy manner. And my God, it's very affecting. So I thought the direction here was absolutely spot on, and you know, a real decent, uh, visually stunning horror film. You know, and then at times it's kind of the actual story as well. The, the writing here, very intriguing. Like I said, I had some problems with the ending, but generally speaking, I, I felt like the cure is that you, you're watching this, and then most of this film is actually the autopsy. It's literally an autopsy, but you're kind of av unraveling these kind of secrets and kind of uh, mysteries that kind of go along with thinking, ha "What's happening here?" I mean, it just seems such a weird uh, situation, but it's the kind of the movie goes on it does a good job of kind of making you understand uh, what's actually happening and uh, i thought it was very very good all the, all the effects here are fantastic i mean there's some some great use of kind of some practical effects here really this, this film is very hard to critique i would say it's a very very enjoyable very well made film if you're a horror fan you're gonna love this movie to be honest there's very there's very little wrong with it i absolutely thoroughly recommend this film really enjoyed it um you know, it's not a kind of like slasher film, I guess. So if you're into those type of horrors only, then it might not be for you. But if you like a good mood piece that does have some quite cool effects in it and a really gripping story with interesting and well, well-rounded well characters, then this is the movie for you. So I'm going to give this movie a um, an 8 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.